Hello out there to you. We got this problem. Uh, we're trying to solve for the elasticity when we're given a demand function. So we're given the demand function up here. Wants us to calculate the arc. So this is really what's called the arc price elasticity, where we're moving from one price to another. Uh, we're increasing from four to five, and then also from ten to eleven. Okay. So the the formula for price elasticity of demand, usually it's reported in absolutes, so it's the percent change in quantity demanded, so we need to calculate that, and then divide it by the percent change in price in absolutes. The interpretation is if I get a number more than one, then that means quantity mattered more, uh, and that means it's elastic. If I get exactly one, then it's a, exactly the same ratio. If I get less than one, then it's inelastic. Okay, the percent change formula is the new value minus the old value. Now if, if I'm just, in this problem it didn't tell me to use the midpoint method, usually we use the midpoint method um, because then it doesn't matter whether you're going up or down the demand curve. Okay, um, but if it doesn't, don't, if it tells you explicitly not to use the midpoint method, then you can just go new minus old over old times 100. That's our standard percent change formula. Okay, so what I want to know is, uh, we'll set up a little demand schedule here. I've got price and then I've got uh, quantity here. I want to know what are the quantities at the different prices. So I've got four to five, that's our first elasticity when you figure out, and then 10 to 11. Okay, so we're just going to plug this in to this formula here. So the first one is 400 minus 25. We'll plug that in uh, 4 right there. So that turns into 100 and then that's 300. So I'll put that right here. Okay. Next one is 400 minus 25 times 5. Okay. And that turns into 125. So that's 2 75, 275. Okay. The next one is 400 minus 25 times 10. So that's 250. So that equals 150. And then finally, um, 400 minus 25 times 11. And I did this on a calculator before uh, talking to you. So it's actually 1, 125. Okay, so now I've got all of my quantities there, and I can go to town trying to calculate the two separate elasticities. So these are actually two separate problems, so we'll put those guys in red there. Okay, so uh, increasing from four to five. Okay, so uh, what is our percent change in quantity demanded? Okay, so it's our new, so 275 minus our old divided by the midpoint method which I did ahead of time and that's 287.5 if you want to know the, what, how to do the midpoint method you just just add them both together and divide by two okay a lot of times it's it's going to be just halfway in between it's super easy to to tell uh, what the number is okay so all right so let's do that in a calculator I think I've already done that because was making sure I get the right answers, but anyhow, 275 minus 300, okay, so it's negative 25, divided by 287.5, and I get negative 8.6, okay, so negative 8.6 percent, okay. Now I want to do percent change in price, so this is uh, increasing the price to 5. So 5 minus 4, and that one's easy, I can do that in my head, it's 450. Okay, that's the midpoint between those two numbers. Times 100, okay, what do we get here? Okay, so that's 1 over 450, and I get 22%. Keep that consistent, we'll write it in green here, 22%. So now, I'll plug these guys into 
price elasticity of demand formula. Okay, and so it's just 8.6 divided by 22, whatever that is. It's, it's going to be inelastic because we know that the, the uh, denominator is bigger. Okay, and I get 0 0.39, 0 0.39 or 0 0.39. It's actually a negative number. Um, but it's pretty standard to do it in absolutes. Okay, so that first part, so from four, I'll write it right here, four to five, uh, price elasticity is 0 0.39. Okay, now we got to do the second one. Okay, and now this one just going to use different numbers. So we're going from, uh, we're increasing the price up to 11. So we've got 125 minus 150 divided by, this one I didn't do ahead of time. So 125, oops, 125, not times, 125 plus 150 and then multiply it by a half, it's 137.5. That's what I thought, but you always want to make sure so I don't have to edit the video later on. Times 100, okay, so it's 25 divided by 137.5, and I get 18%. 18%. Okay, now, I want to go uh, 11 minus 10 over the midpoint there is 1050 times 100. Okay, so it's just 1 over 10.5. I get 9.5. Okay, so like now we're in the elastic part. Okay, so back here. All right, eighteen over nine point five. Just around, just over two. Okay, so uh, one point eight nine. One point eight nine. One. 0.89, so just under two, okay? Um, so that is the price elasticity of demand going from 10 to 11. Okay, so that was how to calculate price elasticity of demand given a demand function.